Nityanandam, beloveds, may the Most High shine its light upon you, and may that light help you radiate with eternal bliss. I come to you today in the spirit of universal truth, and I greet you all. The mind, the conscious mind, the subconscious mind, and the unconscious mind. The unconscious mind has no judgment. It's just, doesn't know what's right, doesn't know what's wrong, it's just the unconscious mind. The subconscious mind has judgment. You know, it tells you what is right and what is wrong. And then the conscious mind just follows the subconscious. Whatever the subconscious produces, the conscious mind follows. Simply put, the, the conscious mind is really the ego. It's the illusion. It's, it's the maya. <laughs> it's, it's just the maya. It doesn't exist, really. But when it boils down to meditation, meditation deals with reinstalling a software, new software, which is really the archetypal software. With all of the people, people today have all kinds of anger, particularly now in this age of this big, big so-called pandemic, people live in fear. When you're living in fear, right, what's happening is it's changing the neuron mappings in the, in, in the brain. So there's a certain software that's there. When you live in a different state, higher than fear, in a state of love, in a state of powerfulness, the neuron mappings in the brain, the neuron mappings start to change. That is a software. The neuron mappings correspond with the software. Now, when you change those neuron mappings, then you're changing the software. When you change the cognition, you're changing the software. It's a different kind of way of looking at meditation. That's meditation. Change the neuron mappings. For example, you know, when you're doing Sukhasana, Siddhasana, any of the different uh, forms of yoga, particularly if you're doing like Nitya Yoga that Swamiji teaches, you're changing the neural mappings of the brain. You're changing your bio memory. By changing your bio memory, you become meditative. That's meditation. It's not just sitting down and trying to control the mind and saying, don't think this, don't think that, you know. This is not natural by trying to control the mind. What is natural, because as a human being, we have particular softwares. We have a particular software, particularly now in the society. When you change the software by changing the neuron mapping, then you, you can become meditative. When you're chanting a mantra, and you're chanting the mantra over and over again, you're doing the ajapa japa, or you're chanting your japa, this is literally changing your bio memory. It's changing the neuron mapping of the brain. By changing the neural mapping of the brain, it's, changing, it's uh, reinstalling a new software. You understand? <laughs> when you're doing sun meditation, you're doing the sun gazing, and you're looking at the sun, it's literally changing the neuron mapping of the brain. So you're creating a new software. Time and time, as time passes, you're creating a new software. When you're doing different forms of pranayamas or kumbhakas, a trieta kumbhaka, you're changing the neural mapping, creating a new software. That is meditation. It's not just about mind control. That's unnatural. But this is what many people believe. It's what I used to believe before I became deeper and deeper into the metaphysics. I learned more and more of the metaphysics, the divine metaphysics, and learned more about uh, the science of enlightenment. So, you know, if you change the neuron mappings or you change the software, right? What happens is that you secrete the right hormones. Your endocrine system changes. You secrete the, the healthy amounts of oxytocin. It makes you happy and blissful. Serotonin during the day that keeps you alive, happy, jolly. Huh? At nighttime, you secrete the right amounts of melatonin to help you sleep to help you sleep well. You understand? Understand and overstand that once you, change the, once you change the software, then you become meditative. That's the meditation, changing the software. By changing the software, then you can have the happiness, then you can have the bliss, then you can just be meditative throughout the day. You know, little things won't uh, worry or bug you. You know, little arguments that you have with your wife or your husband, they won't bug you. Your children, your child doing something that, you know, 
really would make somebody who's living in fear, living in anger, that has the wrong software, you know, li little things like that, won't, won't affect you. This is meditation. This comes from the tantric school of, of, of thinking, or the tantric science. Vijnana Bhairava Tantra, where Paramashiva in the Agamas talks about the science of the third eye. And this is technology, because this is really what this is, is a technology. Is utilizing the technology to become meditative, to change your bio memory, change the cognition, to perceive life differently, and to walk around and be in society like a god, like a goddess. That's the meditation. This comes out of this school. Of course, you even see in ancient Kem uh, or ancient Egypt the same way with the pharaohs, the kings, and the queens. They're just in this stance. They're not meditating in the same. Uh, postures that you see a lot of the, the monks meditate in, they're just sitting like this, sometimes staring at the sun. And they're meditative. This is a form of meditation. You can meditate standing up. You can meditate sitting down. But this idea that you have to be sitting down to meditate is really something that's created a mess when it, when it comes to teaching people uh, what meditation really is. You can stand up meditating. You can have your eyes open meditating. It's not about sitting down and trying to control your mind. It's about reinstalling a new software, which is the real software. You understand? Beloved, it's, it's the real software. It's the true software before corruption happened in you. From society, from parents, from school, from media. It's about changing your software, changing your bio memory transforming it. So this is what meditation is. So always remember, ignorance is not bliss, bliss is enlightenment. So radiate the eternal bliss of a thousand suns. Eternally blissful, Nityanandam. Thank you. Thank you. Go on, change your software. <laughs> change your software. Come on, you can do it, you can do it.